Hello everyone, it's Mal. Today I'm going to be doing part two of the all, not all my dolls, oh my gosh, of the dollhouse tour. I'm really excited. So in this part we're going to be talking about, or looking at, I should say, Corinne and Gwen's bedroom set, Kit's tree house, Grace's bakery, Joss's Volkswagen surf bus, I literally call it Joss's van, and then the Glitter Girl's house over there, Lainey's camper, which is right underneath the table, which this table I do all of my opening and review videos on. Um, it's a bit messy right now. I'm in the process of changing dolls for Christmas. And then we're also going to be kind of looking at Julie's camper and the Truly Me pink car. So yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I feel like without further ado, let's get started. So now we're going to be talking about Corinne's and Gwen's bedroom set. I did a video highlighting this whole thing, opening. I don't think I opened it, but I definitely did a video on it. So if you guys want to go check that video out, I'll link it down below if you're watching on YouTube. On the left side of Corinne's bedroom set, that is where the smaller rooms of the dollhouse are. So we have two of these cute little trees that I found at Hobby Lobby last year. They're Corinne's colors and they literally work super duper perfect in this space. On the dollhouse, since it's kind of by the dollhouse, I put Corinne's poster up, which has Corinne and Gwen on it. I got that poster when I attended the... AG Rewards party for her release. I hope to attend an AG Rewards party for Girl of the Year 2023. Let's hope I get tickets. They're always so hard to get tickets for. And then kind of in that back little corner we have her ski rack which her, with her skis on it. And then kind of moving inside of course we have the bottom bed which has the bedding, pillows on it. I put the pillow from her um one of her, it was like her bench set with her fireplace. I put that pillow on because I do have that set. I don't have it out the doll room because I'm very limited on space, but I do have that set. And then she has her Bubba tea uh, behind her on the ottoman, which Corinne's sitting right here. Uh, behind her, there's an ottoman that the set comes with. And in the ottoman, I have her food and that too that the set comes with. And then I have her rug on the floor, which you kind of don't need a rug when it's carpet, but you know, it's fine. And then I have her hat that she's not wearing um, because she's wearing her hiking outfit. I didn't put her hat on her. And then I have her hiking backpack by her too. Up on the top bunk, I just have Gwen in her pajamas. She's sitting on the top bunk um, with the reading light and then with the rest of the food that this set comes with, along with the Bubba tea. She's drinking the pink one. By the ladder that goes up to the top bed, the top of the bunk beds, I should say, you have hooks. And on those hooks, on the first, the highest hook, I have Corinne's backpack. And then on the second hook, I have Gwen's backpack. And then we have the swing. So the swing kind of in the back of the swing on the floor, I have their shoes kind of on display. So like their skating, their ice skates. On the scare on the scare lift, the ski lift, we have Corinne's dog, her blanket that comes with the set made for the mountains pillow, um, the hot chocolate that comes with that fireplace set I was talking about of hers earlier, and then we have some dog treats. By her chair, I put her table that comes with it. On the table, we have just just accessories that come with the set. Honestly, her candle, her planter, her lotion, her map. Uh, the only things that don't come in the set that I have on the table is her hot chocolate and some cookies and brownies that come with that come from her ski shop accessory set furniture piece. I wish I had more room to display that because it's one of my favorite pieces from American Girl, but I sadly don't have room. And then down below her table, I have Corinne's boots and Gwen's boots that come with her meat outfit. In the middle of the room, we have baby Blex with some toys, so some teddy bears, a fire truck that's actually a Hallmark ornament, um, My Life as Mass, some candy because it's Halloween, a pumpkin that's his size, his bottle, and then his uh, car seat. The last thing in Corinne's area, last two things, is her TV. So I don't have it folded down as a desk. I just have it in a TV set. There's nothing in the cabinets or anything. Um, on top of it, I have a pumpkin and a sign that says be grateful because it's fall. Kind of 
get some fall spirit in her area. And then I have another one of those Hobby Lobby trees that are in her color. I have three different ones in different shades. So this is like the lightest blue shade. I got these for like $3. They're on sale. So I was like, oh, perfect. Meant to be. So yeah, they really, I really feel like they make her area just more cute and stand out more. By Corinne's tree, not Corinne's tree house, by Corinne's bedroom, we have Kit's tree house. This is something, this is one of my favorite pieces for American Girl. I love this set. Um, I really would love to make a video talking about all my big accessory sets that I have because there's so many fun stories that I have associated with them and I would love to share them, but you know, this video is going to get too long that I sadly can't do that. So anyways, if you guys would be interested in that, I guess let a girl know. But this is Kit's tree house. It's very pretty. You would be shocked at how much fun I have decorating this, even though it's just a tree house and you have tree limbs and leaves. Um, since it's fall, I like to put fall leaves all around it to kind of make it look like the trees are losing the leaves um, and, you know, changing colors. And what's actually, I guess, kind of a cool thing, not really a cool thing, kind of a sad thing, is that you have to be very careful with the leaves on this set because if you don't, the leaves will fall off and you cannot put them back on. So I have lost some leaves um, over the years from this set, but I try to keep it um, together and in the fall kind of category so I could then kind of put the leaves that fell off the trees for various different reasons. Um, buy it and kind of out on display. Uh, the leaves are also, sh the, the tree limbs are also shaped at like a really good shape where you can put like kites or like a bird's nest or a bird in it. So that's kind of funny, like a doll sized bird. Um, and yeah, there's nothing too much I could say about this really. Um, inside the tree house I have Kit's washstand set. Um, I won that on like an eBay option like years ago. So yeah, it's honestly, that's a really fun set. I really like it. And yeah, and then I just have some dolls outside of it. Kind of buy it. I have Presley, Brooklyn Candy, and then my Our Generation doll Sunny. She's in it. And then I have the American Girl Truly Me Meatloaf dog in it in the treehouse as well. Now we're going to be talking about Grace's Bakery. I know, super duper exciting. I One of my favorite pieces that American Girls came out with. I'm so excited to talk about this. In front of the bakery, we have the American Girl scooter that just came out. Um, I don't have batteries in this or else I would show you the features, but once again, we don't have time. Um, who's driving the scooter is Ocean. And we have Grace's mini doll in it too. I kind of wanted to put it in front of Grace's bakery because it's kind of looking like, I don't know, this is something that they would have in Paris. So kind of, you know, if you don't know Grace or her story, she travels to Paris. That's why the bakery, instead of saying bakery on it, it says la patisserie because it's in French. Alrighty, I moved Ocean out of the way with her scooter. So starting with the left side of the bakery, we have Grace and Alexis, who is standing right in front of Grace's patisserie cart, or Grace's pastry cart, I should say. Uh, La Petite pas Patisserie, I can't pronounce it. What's next to the pastry cart on the left side is a blue Eiffel Tower figurine, which I think I got, I don't know, even know where. I have a couple guesses, but I don't know. And then we have a trash can by it, too, that's behind the um, Eiffel Tower. So now I'm talking about what's on the pastry cart. I Grace's Bakery and the pastry cart always changes on the season what I put on it. So right now it's fall, so we have some pa fall, not Paul, fall pastries on it. We have a rolling pin that says pumpkin pie. Got that at Hobby Lobby. We have the dough that you actually get with Grace's Bakery, a Hello Kitty pie that you get in a Hello Kitty bakery set, and the Queen's Treasures pie that I got at a Queen's Treasures set a couple few years ago. All of that, what I described to you, is on top of some fall leaves that I set on the pastry cart. You have this upper shelf on the pastry cart, and on the upper shelf I have a bowl with some candy in it. Some candy was made by a viewer that I think I got gifted last year. And then we have some My Life candy in it too. It says Trick or Treat. It's in a My Life As Bowl from one of the Halloween sets. And then we have some Dirty Girls Cupcakes. On the lower shelf, 
I kind of consider this to be our free samples, you know, for the dolls to sample something from the bakery. So on the free samples, we have some apples, and which are like, you know, dips, apples, you know, whatever they're called. And then we have some American Girl, the birthday drinks from one of the birthday sets. It's my birthday, okay? So, yeah, it's not my birthday. Maybe it might be my birthday when you're watching this. I don't know, but my birthday's on October 25th. My birthday happens in fall, so usually I decorate the doll room for my birthday <laughs> and for fall. On the bottom part of the pastry, pastry cart, we have some boxed up treats. I change the box up treats too sometimes, depending on the seasons. So like for this season, I kind of want the bakery to focus on chocolate things because I feel like that's kind of fall and like kind of baked more like breads and stuff. So that's why there's kind of a little bit more chocolate items in my bakeries because I kind of feel like we should focus on that this year. And then I have flowers from Grace's accessory set, and then I have this poster that says Paris on it in the bottom too. Going inside the bakery, we have the big bakery display case that came, that came with Grace's bakery. We have Grace's dog, and then we have four dollies inside. We have August, Fantasia, Cece, and Miami. Let's talk about the big bakery case and then we'll move the dolls out of the way and we can, we'll show you more about the inside. So on the big bakery display case, we have a happy birthday, birthday cake from not this year's birthday set, but a past year's birthday set. I got it in 2019. I actually got that when on my birthday when I went to the American Girl Chicago store when I was turning 16. We have a... A oven pan for cupcakes and the cupcakes in it are the cupcakes that came with the bakery and then on the second shelf we have some cinnamon rolls from the American Girl delicious breakfast set that's a really retired it's a, such an old set okay um, and then we have some leaves kind of all those are what is setting on top of some fall leaves what makes this bakery case really neat and really cool, which once again, I would love to talk about all the features that this bakery comes with and all the accessories that the bakery comes with, but you know, we just don't have time to talk about these amazing American Girl features in this video. So the bakery case, so you have kind of three sections of this bakery case. So you have the left, the right, and then the middle. So what I just talked about is the stuff in the middle. On the left side of my baker case we have Grace's chocolate tart which came with the bakery so that's on the right side and the left side so what I like to do is I like to put the same thing both on the right and the left and then have different things in the middle the second shelf both on the right and the left has cupcake from a bitty baby party set and then the third, the last thing at the bottom, I have a American Girl plate that has some cookies from different doll brands. So we have an Oreo from Our Generation. We have another cookie from Our Generation. We have a chocolate chip cookie from Journey Girls. And we have this like really weird, I think it's called a cannoli from Journey Girls 2 on it. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the middle. So the second shelf in the middle is a tray that came from Grace's Bakery. And we have some croissants on it some from different Grace's sets, honestly. And then at the bottom, we have some more boxed up baked goods that came from Grace's sets. So going inside of Grace's bakery, we have this window, okay? And on this window, we have a shelf. So on the shelf, we have a Journey Girls camera, a measuring cup, and a letter G, which stands for Grace, since this is Grace's bakery. And then we also have this kind of like sign that says La Patisserie, which I got from a Grace I think it was a craft book that American Girl came out with. So kind of by the window, we have Grace's countertop that has her oven and some shelving units and her sink. So above that, we have this rack where she hangs her measuring kind of spoons, her whisk, her bakery cards, like ingredients, you know, telling you how to make the stuff, her oven mitts, her pot holders, or pot mitts maybe that's what it's called and then we have this detail that has a clock on the left side and then on the right we have this light and on the light I hanged up her apron that says Grace Thomas that I got for attending her release in, on January 1st and so on the countertop of her sink 
We have our iPad that has pulled up a vanilla cupcake recipe. We have a spatula. Looks like it's for a pie. We have a, another baking tool. We have some soap by her sink and a sponge. Going down to her oven, I think I just have maybe some pots and pans in her oven. I can't really tell what I have, and I'm not going to open it up for you because I'm kind of scared messing around with this in a while, so I don't know what I put in it. But anyways, um, on my oven, I have a towel on the oven rack. Not the oven rack inside, on the outside. So, you know, once you wash your hands, you can dry your hands on the towel that's hanging up on the, you know, handle to the oven. Okay, and then down below the oven, you have this cabinet. I think that's where I put some more pans for her. So right next to the oven, we have two, we have a shelf. Okay, we have two shelves. Okay, so on the first shelf, I have these glass plates from Hobby Lobby that are holding forks, um, spoons, whisk, and then on the bottom, I have these cupcake liners that are doll size along with some bags. Okay, so in the middle of the bakery, we have this shelving unit. So what's on top of the shelving unit, let's start there. We have this pink Eiffel Tower thing. We have an Eiffel Tower poster from an American Girl craft book. We have this pink and black polka dotted purse that I have no idea where I got from. And then we have these two cups that says Coca-Cola that came from Walt Disney World. So moving on to the shelves in this shelving unit. On the first one, we have some baking ingredients, some tools, I should say, just baking tools like measuring cups, measuring... Uh, spoons, different things. On the second shelf on the left, we have some baking materials such as flour, almond flour, cupcake mix, different things like that. On the right side, we have some cupcake holders along with some ingredients books. On the bottom, we have some various different things. So the first thing is some chocolate chips. That is from Journey Girls. We have this mini Eiffel Tower, which actually came off of a Target Eiffel Tower necklace that I got in 2015. We have an empty sprinkles cup and then we have a whisk thing that changes to her mixer, which we'll talk about our mixer here in a minute. So on the left side of that is the light that has the apron hanging on. On the right side we have another light and underneath that other light we have her fridge. On top of her fridge, we have an Eiffel Tower that is literally a Walmart Christmas ornament. And it literally, I put it out for Christmas, but I forgot to take it out last year. So it's kind of just been here in the doll room for... Um, but right next to that is her mixer. So her mixer is really neat. I would love to do a video on Grace's collection. Like, kind of showing you guys the stuff that is in her collection and talking about it. Maybe I should do it for past girl of the years. I don't know, but it's really fun. Like her stuff in her collection is really fun. And but anyways, her mixer you can change it out to what I have in it now, or that one thing, the whisk thing. And now we're gonna talk about the fridge. Inside her fridge is basically mostly stuff that came from her collection. We have berries, we have cheese on the first shelf. On the second shelf, we have fresh eggs and some butter. On the last shelf, the very bottom is milk, water, sparkling water, and a um, and then a kind of like a jar of water too. Right next to that, on the right side, we have her sign, which goes with her bistro table. It's the menu. Listen, I made this when I was like little. Okay, it wasn't that little. I was like in fifth grade or something. But like, it's pretty bad. It's it's a pretty bad sign. Anyways, moving that out of the way behind it, we have the shelf. Okay, so on the shelf, I put some baguettes in this kind of storage container that came with her pastry cart. And then we have hooks on the shelf that it's sitting on. And those are the hooks to hold up her bags that you get in this set. Right above that, we have this sign that is interchangeable. I just have this sign that says Bon Appetit that came with it. So on the back side, it says something different. Don't ask me what it says on the back. I have no idea. I haven't changed it. It's, this has literally been, that sign has been there, Bon Appetit, and I haven't changed it since I got this bakery. I got this bakery for Christmas of December of 2015. So I have not changed it since. I don't even know what it says on the other side. I should probably change it just to... Yeah, it goes to show you I don't really like changing stuff. Okay, so on the right side, which is the, the at the end of the bakery, we have this 
window, which is an opening window. This is the to-go um, window. I have a My Life As Cash Register, and then I have a box. I think it's empty. Down below that, you have this, like, shelf or, like, caddy thing to put stuff in. I just put the bakery menus and some napkins inside. On the right side, on the outside now, we're on the outside right side, um, we have Grace's bistro table. And on her bistro table, I have Gracie sitting at it. On the table itself, I have a menu, which is this on this Paris kind of holder thingy. I have a new, kind of newspaper, which came in a Grace um, craft book, a postcard, a napkin with a fork on it and then I have this plate which is has a American Girl cake, two American Girl cakes, one's a present, one's the rainbow cake that you get at the bistro if you dine in for your birthday. A cupcake which came from the American Girl William Sonova playset. Uh, Grace's cute little chocolate cake and then a brownie which I think that one came from the American Girl kind of school lunch set. I think it came from the first edition of it. So not the one out they have now, one that retired. And then I have this Our Generation kind of um, drink, which is like hot chocolate or something. I don't know. It looks cute. And it kind of reminded me of fall. So I was like, put it right there. Down below the chair, we have Grace's purse from one of her accessories. And then we have this dog, which came from a very old Our Generation set. I should also mention and talk about the fact that right behind the bistro table, um, kind of like by the door, I don't know how to describe it, I have these trees. So this is, I have two trees, so one on this side, one on the other side, that just reminded me of Paris. Um, and so I kind of just put them by Grace's Bakery. Honestly, I've never been to Paris, so I don't even know if they have these trees, but it kind of just reminded me and gave me, like, the aesthetic feel. So this is Joss's van. It is the most expensive <laughs> accessory set that American Girls came out with, and we're going to talk about it. <laughs> On top of Joss's van, I have Joss's skate... not skateboard, her surfboard that comes with the van and her surfboard that just came in, like, a separate set of hers. Okay, so opening the front passenger seat up, inside kind of like the front side. Oh my goodness, I have dolls falling on me. This is such a tight area, so that's why I'm holding the camera, because I can just fit back here. I can't have the tripod with me fit because it's such a tight space. But anyways, um, we have Joss's backpack, the Truly Me Infinity backpack. Inside we have Joss's kind of accessories. We have the key. We have my Our Generation doll. It's Hallie driving it. Back here we have the table that's folded out. On the table we have Joss's computer, her notebook, her phone, her hearing aids case, uh, some photos you get with the set, along with some things in her little kind of magazine holder cubby, some journals, and that's actually a sticker of a van that I got in high school from my French teacher. <laughs> um, yeah, and we have some scissors that come with the set. We also have some sunblocks sitting on the table. One that I made in the AG Sisters, well, they're not called that anymore, Kit and Sis. Um, cyber camp. I made sunblock for my dolls. And then we have just some sunblock that came in one of Joss's sets. We have Joss's skateboard hanging up. We have Joss sitting down on the um, kind of sofa kind of seat. And then on it we have um, her dog and then another one of her animals in her collection. Down there we have the first aid kit. I put one of the rugs that came in one of her sets. Maybe it came with this one. I can't really remember. Down, um, we kind of have some shoes back there. We have Ruby sitting in the passenger seat. We have some sunglasses and her purse that is with her outfit. We have Joss's purse back there. This is the back of the trunk. If I open this, all of this is going to fall out. But anyways, in the trunk, I keep Joss's grill, um, some other accessories of hers. I keep the food that comes with it. I would turn this on and show you the functions of it because it is a really cool set. But we don't have time, sadly. And I actually did film a video over talking about Joss's van, but that video actually got scrapped and it's in the vault. <laughs> So what's behind Joss's van is the Glitter Girl's house. 
Okay, so by the door side on like the porch, we have the welcome sign, which came with the Glitter Girls house. And then we have Bonnie the horse on the outside too, kind of welcoming in guest. Moved on the inside, we have one of my Glitter Girls dolls sitting at the table. We have, on the table, we have this Happy Halloween kind of puzzle, really fun thing that I got from one of my doll friends a couple few years ago for my birthday. We have one of the bowls that the house comes with with some My Life candy in it. We have a My Life Halloween drink. Moving on over to the kitchen, we have some grapes in a bowl and the sink. We have some food, some drinks in the fridge, some juice that comes with it, some milk, other drinks. Do we have anything in the drawers? I don't think we have, no, we do have stuff in the drawers. Okay, so we have cake in the drawers that came with the set and some silverware. There's nothing in the oven. I know that for sure. Is there anything in this bottom drawer that I put? Oh, we have some candy and stuff in the bottom drawer. Then we have another My Life As Halloween drink, which surprisingly fits the glitter girls. Sometimes Smile Life Ask stuff, their sizing can be very interesting. On the cabinets on top of the kitchen, we have some bowls and, so and cereal and some cups and stuff that came with the set. And then on top of that, we have some candy which came in this like beautiful dish from one of the Glitter Girl sets. And then we have this bucket full of some more candy came with another one of the Glitter Girl sets. And then we have Bria who is standing by the ladder to the loft bed. Behind Bria on the floor, we have her hat and Nora's helmet. And then we have the kind of storage caddy or something that you want to call storage caddy that came with the dollhouse. On it, we have a journal that came with the dollhouse. I mean the house, I should say. Uh, some popcorn that came with a different set, and then a My Life As popcorn, and then a Yankee, can a Yankee candle, which is a fall scent. Some gum packets that came with the different Glitter Girl sets, and then an orange pumpkin. I don't think I have anything in the, in the drawers. And then we have kind of, there's this like bookshelf on the wall, which you guys can kind of see in it. I just put some more Halloween games in it, because I thought that would be really fun. Sitting on the bed, we have Nora with the bedding, and then I also have some Halloween games on this kind of side, which you guys can't really see, but they're there. And then besides the Glitter Girl house, I have the other Glitter Girl horse that I have, and I, apparently I have Kit's treehouse leaves. I guess the fan blew these over when I had the fan on in here because it gets hot, so I'm going to have to move these. But anyways, yeah, that is the Glitter Girl house. Right next to Joss's van, we have Lainey's camper, which is underneath the opening, reviewing, slash video, everything happens on the table, table, that's right in the middle of the room. Outside of the camper, I have all these dolls, and um, all of these dolls are not supposed to be here. They're supposed to be, like, other places in the doll room, but I usually put some of these dolls kind of outside the camper, Either because, one, I'm not sure where to put them in the dollhouse or in the doll room. Or, two, they kind of need something done. So, like, for example, um, Cammy, she's in one of the new Janie and Jack's Mix Match pieces. She, I need to find her socks so I could put her boots on her. But I haven't pulled out any socks yet um, out of my doll bin. So, yeah, I need to do that. And then once she has her boots on, she's free to, I guess, roam around. And then sometimes I'll put dolls who needs to... I need to dress in their Christmas outfits like Violet and Paris. So kind of just ignore all the fact that there's these dolls outside of it basically. Okay so what is usually out here I think I just got this at the benefit sale this year and I really like it. It's one of my favorites uh, pieces from American Girl. It is Mary Ellen's campfire set. I kind of put it outside of Lainey's camper because you know Lainey's camper it's camping thing and this is kind of like a camping thing so I kind of just put it I don't know, I thought it was cute, so I just put it near it. And then behind the door, which you guys kind of can't see, but I have this light blue trash can. I don't have Lainey's trash can, sadly, but I do have a light blue trash can, so that's kind of what Lainey uses for trash, I guess. 
So now we're going to be going inside the camper. Starting to the left, and we'll go to the right. So starting on the left, Lainey has this shower, okay, in her camper. I love Lainey's camper, personally. I think it's one of the most coolest pieces American Girls came out with. I honestly would love to do a video talking about this and kind of talking about some other big ticket items. If you're interested, let a girl know because American Girl has made so many cool pieces that I have bought um, because I think they're so neat and I kind of need it. And I would just kind of just spend, I would just love to spend like time talking about this, but we sadly don't have enough time in this video to do that. But anyways, so this is the shower. It has a beautiful shower curtain. Um, in the shower, I keep some of her... Um, kind of hygiene items in this pink bag. I have her toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes from our generation, and then I also keep these American Girl, my American Girl pink rain boots in there too, because you know, you never know when you're gonna need rain boots. She's camping, she's gotta be prepared. In the middle of the camper is her kitchen. This is kind of like the most, kind of like the main attraction to her camper. So sitting in the kitchen, we have my American Girl doll, Faith. So I'm going to kind of move her out of the way so you guys can see this. She's going to kind of go in the shower for a little bit. But um, so we have the sink on the countertop. I have some soap by it. I have Lainey's tea kettle. And I have silverware that's supposed to be in this cup, but it spilled out. Don't ask me how it spilled out. Lainey must have been throwing a party and she must have spilled it out. I probably was doing something in the camper and it just spilled out, you know, and I didn't really realize it. But anyways, so I keep some silverware for her and this Our Generation cup. And it's just several just different Our Generation silverware pieces in case she ever needs it by the sink. And then I also keep a cup, which is the cup is actually from Krista's party treat set. Yeah, I know. I have that surprisingly. It's such a good, that's, a, that's, that's so cute. I love it. It's from 2009. But anyways, in it I have some toothbrush, some toothbrushes in the toothpaste, you know, so then she can brush her teeth. And then kind of going over the stove, I have some, a plate from Mary Ellen's campfire set with some of the treats that you get in that set. I have Lainey's uh, ladybug jar from one of her accessory sets. I have a bird's book from one of her accessory sets. And then I have this lamp that I got in like a kid's meal when I was little. And then I have her bunny on the table from her accessory set. I have AG pancake mitts from Mary Ellen's uh, camping thing, moving her bunny out. I have Lainey's nap. Uh, laptop, her journal, and her kind of envelope thing, all from her accessory sets. Her notebook, her journal, I think came from her um, hammock, which you'll see here in a couple few minutes. So now we're going to be moving what's underneath kind of the countertop. We have this fridge on the left and it opens and it's super duper cute. So in it, I have what the camper comes with. So like the milk, orange juice, some other things. And then I also keep it filled with some lemonade, some apple juice from various Our Generation sets, some yogurt from our generation sets. I like to keep these containers in there too to kind of make it look like she's like on the go because you know she is on the go. It's her camper. She's always on the go. So yeah that's kind of what I keep in there. And then I have a her kind of oven pot mitt hanging up on this hook that came with the camper. Then she has a shelf in the camper which I usually just keep the stuff that comes with it. I have like her bread, her spaghetti, her peanut butter, her tomato sauce, and then I have this jar of bird seeds from a Our Generation set. I have her cup that came with the camper, and then I also have these cute little porcupines, which I found at the Bullseye Target section a couple few years ago. And then at the bottom, I keep her recycling bin, which holds currently a fork and two pieces of plastic from a doll glasses set that broke years ago, so don't really know what that's doing in there. And then on the right side, Lainey is sitting on her bench. So, um, yeah, I just have the fabric bench that, the fabric that the bench, you know, comes with. And then I have this pillow that I got at Hobby Lobby that says Herb Lady. I like to put out do that during springing. And I probably should take it away and put it in storage since... And then, I can't, I don't know if you guys, you can't really see, but on the floor, I do have Lainey's rain boots from one of Lainey's sets, so that's her actual thing. So what she's sitting on is a bench. It does lift up, and you can store stuff in it. I do have stuff stored in it, but I'm not going to take Lainey out, and I'm not going to lift it up, because there's just so much stuff that I keep in it, that I'm kind of embarrassed, okay? By the bench, so then we have this window, kind of 
the bench ledge, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it. But anyways, we have this window, and there's a shelf. So on the shelf, I have the American Girl Slow Cooker set. And then I have the My American Girl Gardening box in it. I keep the American Girl Gardening stuff. And then I have the bug spray from, like, a really old doll set. And then I have her binoculars. And then I have this little tub that kind of just holds different things, like books and uh, her passport and just some different things in it too. It's kind of pink. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's back there. Moving outside of the camper, I have one of my My Life dolls, and then I also have Lainey's hammock, which is super duper cute. So on Lainey's hammock, I have my doll Fancy Nancy, and she is actually laying on uh, the hammock, of course, with the hammock pillow, but I also put Lainey's sleeping bag on it too. And then we have Taylor. Once again, she's not supposed to be here. And then we have what I think is one of the most iconic thing in the Dollies and Rainbows family, Teddy. He's a teddy bear. I had him since I was like one. Maybe even like before one. But anyways, uh, he's he kind of just, you know, all the dolls love him. I love him. He's iconic to the Dollies and Rainbows family. So that's Teddy, the teddy bear. And then we have Monica. Uh, the doll by Teddy and then we have the cars so let's talk about the cars so here's the two cars that I currently well I guess there's three cars in the doll room counting Joss's van but over here I keep two of my cars so the first one's Julie's car this is a, such a cool piece I absolutely love it in the car I have my bitty babies um, yeah I know kind of a bad doll mom because the bitty babies are in it but it's fine. Um, they're not going anywhere, so it's okay. Once again, absolutely love Julie's car. This would be like another video I would love to do over it. Super, super fun. And then we have the pink, journey, uh, not Journey Girls, <laughs> Julie Me car, which is currently out right now. Pink Perry looks like she's going to make a escape. Uh, this is the pink American Girl car. This car is really cool as well. Thought about doing a video over this uh, too at one point, but this one is actually remote controlled. You can drive it. The 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 remote control is over there by like the my Grace's Bakery that Shelvin unit. But anyways, it's really cool. It's really neat. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of the dollhouse tour. If you haven't gone watch part one, be sure to go do so. I will link it down below so you can go check it out and watch it. Part one features this lovely section of the doll room. So yeah, make sure you're going to go watch that because it's an awesome video. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram if you haven't so already. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows. I'm also on TikTok as well. Same name, Dollies and Rainbows. On my YouTube channel and Instagram TV, I usually post new videos every single Sunday. But sometimes I like to post, you know, random videos here and there on different days. So make sure that you're subscribed and following so then you don't miss out. And also make sure that you're subscribed and following so then you don't miss out on the next two parts of the dollhouse tour and future videos and stuff like that. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, comment down below which part was your favorite that we looked at today or which part that you're really excited to, to see. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.